Okay, you can put this example in our notes section from yesterday. We're going to go over two examples of solving equations when x is just on one side. So our first example is 3x minus 4 equals 8. 3x minus 4 equals 8. Now the first thing that I want to get rid of, first I'm going to draw a line down my equal sign, because that shows that each side needs to be balanced, needs to be equal to the same thing. So I need to figure out what this x is equal to. So I want to get away anything that's with the x. So I need to take away this negative 4. Well, if you imagine that as 4 negative chips, the way you get rid of the negative 4 is you put 4 positive chips with it. So I need to add 4 to it so that it cancels out. But the scale just went unbalanced, because when I add 4 to one side, I have to add it to the other side. So I'm adding 4 to both sides, and then I'm going to draw a line to see what I have left. It's negative 4 and 4 made a 0 pair, so that's canceled out, but I still have my 3x over here. I have my equal line, and 8 plus 4 is 12. So now I need to figure out 3 times what, that's what this is saying, 3 times x equals 12. So what is x? 3 times what would give me 12. To figure out 3 times what equals 12, I could divide by 3. I could divide 12 by 3, see how many times it goes in. 3 over 3 is 1, so I get x equals 12 divided by 3, which is 4. So first, I eliminated the number on the same side as the x, but I did that to both sides, same thing to both sides, and then I saw 3 times what would give me 12. Okay, let's do example. Our next example is the harder one. This is negative 2x plus 2 equals 22. Negative 2x plus 2 equals 22. Okay, I'm going to put the line down my equal sign to show that each side needs to be balanced. And I want to get this part, this part with x, by itself. So the thing that's standing in the way of that is this 2 right here, positive 2. To get rid of two positive chips, I can put two negative chips. But when I do that to one side, I need to do that to the other side as well. So then I'm going to draw a line to see what I have left. Okay, positive 2 and negative 2 make a 0 pair. They cancel out. I still have my negative 2x. And over here, 22 minus 2 equals 20. Now, negative 2 times what gives me 20? I can either do it in my head and think, if what do I multiply negative 2 by to get 20? Or... I can divide by how many teams I need. I need two teams. I'm going to divide by that negative 2 so that the negative 2's cancel out. And then I have x by itself. So I divide to make the, the bottom and top cancel out so that I get x. And I need to do that to both sides. I always have to do the same thing to both sides. When I do 20 divided by negative 2 in my calculator, I get negative 10. x equals negative 10.